Welcome or welcome back to 100 days in Subnautica where I try and spend 100 days surviving on this weird and as we find out later in this video a bit creepy ocean world. Our spaceship has crashed and also went boom boom because the reactor overheated or something along those lines and now we are waiting for a ship called the Sunbeam to pick us up. Now normally I would call that an intro and then get to the gameplay, however when I recorded this video I found out about an hour into the recording that my game audio wasn't being recorded. A huge chunk of my life essence basically just left my body at that point. But that just means that part of this video will be scripted just like this and then I'll be switching back to normal gameplay afterwards when I realize my huge mistake. So first logging back onto the world on the dawn of day 6 overlooking the aurora to see a beacon saying a life pod is under attack. Not remembering whether or not I already checked it out, I went to investigate. And sure enough, I had been there. When I got back, I thought that I needed the multi-purpose room in order to start building a base. But after some experimenting, I discovered that I didn't. Happy days! I right away started building a base using pipes, setting up a solar panel as well as an oxygen pump. Being very excited after playing around with that, I went ahead and made the scanner room because I could and wanted to and you can't really stop me. I then found out that this thing is super cool. It can scan in a 300 meter radius for various minerals and other cool stuff. In fact, I found the last piece for the vehicle bay thingy that I was missing thanks to this thing. Afterwards, I spent quite a bit of time adding another pipe and then started to add storage onto the walls because this will eventually become my storage room in the future. And let's just say titanium took up quite a lot of the storage. I also did this because I was getting a little bit tired of having like seven or eight of those small storage things hovering right under my pod. And now all of a sudden I got a radio call. It was the sunbeam. Let's hear it. Aurora we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's well it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Was I finally saved? We shall see, but in any case, getting there is going to take quite a while with my glider since it is 1200 meters away, so making the Seamoth right about now is probably a good idea. I made the vehicle bay thingy and plopped it down and saw that the ingredients was actually fairly cheap and affordable. I was stressing a little bit, but that is just because of the timer. However, I didn't know that a second radio message would arrive, which would actually eventually lead me quite far away from the sunbeam, but you'll see that later. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. After hearing what the radio message had to say, of course I had to do the very brave thing of getting in my Seamoth for the very first time and heading towards the radio signal. If there is a chance that there are a bunch of other survivors, I must try and help them and not leave them stranded on this ocean planet. So I went on my way. I found where the signal originated from. It was too deep for my Seamoth to enter the cave, so I went in without it. It was dark and very creepy, and I was surprised I could withstand the pressure when my Seamoth couldn't. I got to the part which was at the bottom and got coordinates for the meetup. I was faced with another choice of whether or not I should continue because it would put me, as I said earlier, 2200 meters away from the sunbeam or if I should leave for the sunbeam as to not miss it. I again was a very brave boy and went for the radio signal to help the other survivors, if they were indeed still there. Before I knew it I had arrived, however what do you know? There is actually an island, this planet has land after all. It was nighttime when I arrived and uh, it was quite scary. But I was brave and went ahead and started searching on the island in the dark. I couldn't afford waiting for daytime with the sunbeam counting down right on my screen. I walked around and scanned a bunch of stuff until I eventually found some sort of structure at the top of the island. I really really wanted to go and investigate it, but it seemed that the signal was originating from underneath the island. So I had no choice but to leave the building for another time and head back into the Seamoth to dive under the island which was... floating? Very weird. I found the opening and well... Uh, no survivors, unfortunately, except for a data pad. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. 
You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from Second Officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ, seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. Maybe I am the only survivor after all? I don't know, we shall see, but in any case, I had spent a lot of time getting here to the island, and I had to leave immediately if I were to catch the sunbeam in time, especially if I was going to gather some food and water for the journey. So I headed back, gathered supplies, and left for the sunbeam's location. At this point, I will continue my amazing commentary, but the audio is now back! Let me know down below in the comments if you prefer the commentary style like this, or the normal gameplay style. I quite enjoy both, so do let me know. Plus, it allows me to make me sound much braver than I am. <laughs> I mean, nothing. Uh, anyway, I'll let you pass me experience this event live. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hmm. That's like the third shark or something I've seen. There's not, not much else to see around here. Oh, except for this clip. I get another radio transmission now? Like, oh! Oh, hello. Oh, land. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, hello? Okay. Um. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Yeah, no kidding, because that looks alien. <laughs> that That's not, um. Uh. Well, this game just got a lot creepier because there's another species whatever that is um five minutes till sunbeam arrival uh, i guess i'm here and might as well check it out i have a knife to defend my uh, cave actually seems very good right about now oh hi can i scan you no okay i do oh 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 you're no 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 can I can I not aim? Oh dear, that's the, no time for construction now. Oh, hello. Oh wow, this place is cool. I don't know if it leads up to that structure. I mean, in theory, it could, right? But it also does look like we just have a bunch of like ores in here, maybe? Oh, it goes below. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to be down here. <laughs> I definitely don't want to be down here. What's the this? Time? Are the property of the All Terra Corporation. <laughs> so because I found... ...to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> uh, that's a that's a large bill. Uh, I just got a diamond, which is probably why it said that. I would love more of them because uh, I need them in a crafting thing. But yeah, this seems cool. If it wasn't because I'm afraid of getting uh, lost and then not only running out of air, but missing what's going to happen to the to the sunbeam. Um, yeah, Wait, where did they even come from? Oh, there, got it. What's this? Lead? Lithium. Lithium. I would like magnesium. Ma not magnesium, magnetite, or whatever it was called. Okay, I'm gonna grab this, hoping it's another diamond. Uh, gold, okay. Um, less than two minutes. Cutting a bit close. Okay, let's go outside and just wait. Oh, and it's night time. Would you look at that? Oh, look at that. Sky ray. Hello, fella. Can I what? You. Why? Go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't scan the sky ray. Oh, well. Well, since the landing site is right there, I think I'm just gonna stand here on these rocks and uh, hope for the best. Have a minute to wait. I'll see you then. All right. 50 seconds. I am not seeing... Any spaceships entering the atmosphere? Uh. Hmm. Oh. I heard. Hello. That's, um. Worrying. 
Is that... Is that a turret? Yeah, that's acting very much like a turret. I don't know why I'm getting closer. I don't feel like I should get closer. That's so creepy, and it's nighttime as well. Why? Survivor, we see you. Uh, Man, I don't know okay. how you held out down there. Don't. We broke an uh, atmosphere. I... We're descending towards the landing site. Um. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you're yeah. identified? That... Oh, that is. I'm stepping back. Uh, That's. No turning back now. Position well, um. Touching down in ten, nine, uh, eight. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah, that. It's coming from the building. Um, yeah, that's def that, that's definite. Oh dear. Well. Um. Yeah, so that's not a building. That's a turret. Oh dear. Well, so much for the rescue. Um. That's a lot of debris. I feel like I should go check out the debris. Um, is that gonna reset? Probably not. Wait, so is that why the Aurora potentially crashed? Because this thing shot it down? Well, there goes the rescue. Um, and it's moving again. I have a knife. Why have I not been given anything else to like defend myself we're on an alien world for crying out loud and i'm about to try and enter this thing that's you know what i might as well make myself known i know we're here hello fellas hello um oh that's creepy that's actually creepy right purple table tablet fragment yeah let's scan that um oh boy. Uh Do I have the tablet? This question is is there anyone inside? Or is this automated? Um this device matches no known technologies and is slightly alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there's a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. But do I have it? I don't have the tablet, do I? No. I scanned the tablet. But it seems like I need... Yeah, I'm pressing, but nothing is happening. Um... Yeah, that's... If I saw an alien walk around in there, I would quit. I had that... That would just be it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, until I get a purple fragment, uh, not fragment, yeah, tablet, I need an iron cube, apparently. Okay, so I can make a purple fragment, because the one that was here was apparently destroyed. Okay, um, I do- oh, hello. Well, that's interesting. Wait, hold up. Wait, do these lead anywhere? I didn't notice these before. Oh, wait, hold on. Aha! Purple fragment. Okay. I got a purple fragment, apparently. I'm standing on the alien structure. And it's taking... Oh, that's the Aurora. And it's taking power, I assume? From, like, inside the planet? Pla planet island? And there's a path leading up there. Let's check the path first. And of course, the path leads to a cave. Oh dear. Yeah, why not? Why not a cave, you know? Um, this is not the path that is shoot. Okay, this is very easy to get lost. So I'm gonna follow wherever this goes because then I can actually get out again. And it goes down. Never mind. Okay. That's a lot of these creatures in here. Um, I don't like this. <laughs> I mean, our rescue did just get shut down, so I guess it's only fair that we try and exp 
lore where this, this actually leads. I'm glad I packed some food and some water for this because, uh, yeah, it, we need that. But I do have limited stuff of it. Okay, so this seems to be a dead end. Unless there's another path here. That just leads back, I assume. I kind of, I really want to follow that cable to see where it goes. And we have some of this stuff here. Maybe we've got some lithium and dime. Yeah, hmm. What does this lead to? Oh, actually, more ores. Oh, that's good, actually. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I will come back there. I just, this is some really good stuff. I really want this diamond for the reinforced Seamoth thingy or whatever it was. I don't remember what it was. I just remember it was something that I wanted. Uh, okay, this is the final one I'm picking up. Diamond. E uh, is it a... Okay, it's not a dead end. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. We're, we're going in the interesting room now. Okay. Right. This... Uh, how much space do I have? Not much. This is like some Stargate stuff with like a gateway or something, isn't it? Insert iron cube. Well, I don't have an iron cube now, do I? Um, hmm. Alien tech. The structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories in function. Ceremonial or religious role. Industrial applications. Advanced transportation network. Assessment, further research required. Yeah, so basically anything is possible is what you're telling me with this thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna go through it. No. That, um... Oh, listen to the sounds. Yeah, it's it's definitely a portal. It, this is definitely a portal. Hello? Okay. Um, so let's remember... Okay, I'm gonna go through... Yeah, so this is definitely a thing. Um, iron cube. I don't have an iron cube. So I can't do that. So, ow, stupid. So I'm just gonna go out now and back to that alien structure. Can I scan this now? Can I scan this annoying creature already? I will get it. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, we're actually above it all. Oh, nice. Hmm. Still does it look less creepy. Also, this is a bit of an interesting way to go down, but I like it. Easier and faster. Okay, well, here we are. On top of the alien structure. I should probably put the knife away, because if it see if it does see me through, like, some scan or something, and it's like, oh, that, that looks like a weapon. How about we don't? And then just, zip, I get sapped or something. Okay, definitely can't get over there. I don't know if you're supposed to be up here. But there's metal sounds, and I like it. I definitely can't get up there though, and then I go further down unless I hug this wall. It's a huge turret. I don't know if I should be on this thing. Oh, I just realized. Oh. There's all these like structures down here. Oh wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That sounded like that sounded mechanical. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um yeah, so this is a thing just floating somehow. Quite the engineers, one might do, must say. Wow. Okay, well, I have a purple uh, fragment thing. And I know everyone wants me to place it in. And we will in the next episode. <laughs> I'm sorry, they get cliffhangers. We do these things on YouTube, all right? L deal with it. So yeah, in the next episode, uh, we, we have had a lot of stuff happen. We got a steam moth. Sunbeam was obliterated by this cannon. Uh, we found out there's alien stuff here. That's cool. Um, interesting things. We found diamonds, which is good. I only have five. Oh, I need six for that recipe, don't I? Well, still, we found diamonds. Pretty cool. Just like in Minecraft. Um, and yeah, in the next episode, we're going to go through this. We'll head back to base, uh, find out what that radio stuff is on the in the radio. Hopefully expand the base and, oh yeah, scan that stuff on that island. Plenty of stuff to do. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next one. And I'll see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one, where I'm going to press that mouse button. But I'm not going to do it now. I, I'm just going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to hold this screen here. And this is how I'll greet you next time. So take care, have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye.